Praise the Lord. God bless you, my friend. I want you to know that God shall not fail you. We are still in the 11th hour miracle time. My friend, the 11th hour miracle turnaround is here. Don't miss your moment. For the heavens are opening up for thee. As the Bible says, St. Matthew chapter 20 and verse 6, and about the 11th hour he went out and found others standing idle. Don't you stand idle today. I need you to move into faith today by taking a leap of faith and says, yes, prophet. You can count me in. I am one of the 11 today. I'm going to talk to you more about that in a moment. Do you not know that Joseph had 11 brothers? And many of them wanted him dead. There is something about the 11. It is a master number. That means that God is going to raise you up and promote you. Even though Joseph brothers lied on him and threw him in the pit. He ended up in the house of Potiphar. And Potiphar's wife lied on him. But God was setting it up for a miracle. And he went into prison. And as he was in prison, he kept operating in his gift God says don't you give up you keep trusting me and know that I don't care how things appear that you're coming into the 11th hour miracle he went from the pit to the palace to become the prime minister the second most powerful in all of Egypt God is raising you up my friend do you not know that the number 11 also means judgment and disorder. The enemy has broken a spiritual law. Hear me. Hear me. The enemy. He didn't know what he was doing. Just like he didn't know what he was doing to Christ. He don't even know that though he has tried to persecute you. Though he has tried to tear you down. Though he has fought you and your loved ones. He has broken a spiritual law. And I decree that the judgment of God shall be sent forth against everything and everyone that has fought against you. And God will bring judgment. My friend, there was ten plagues. That was pronounced against Pharaoh and Egypt. Oh, there was ten plagues, but there was one judgment. So I receive it. I receive it. God sent judgment into the camp of the enemy. Hear me. There was ten plagues, but there was one judgment. And as Pharaoh's army came after the children of Israel, as they had crossed the Red Sea, guess what, my friend? The sea began to come and swallow up Pharaoh and his chariots, and they went down drowning in blood. God says, I will bring a plague upon your enemies. Shout, do it, God. Do it, do it, do it. We're in the 11th hour. And the enemy has broken a spiritual law. According to, according to 1 Chronicles uh, chapter 16 and verse 22. You read it for yourself. According to Psalms 105 and verse 15. The Bible says, touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm. My friend, you are God's anointed. And the enemy has broken a law. He has broken a spiritual law. And I decree, I decree just. And I decree this order into the life of those that has fought you. I decree this order in the camp of the enemy. He has broken the law. But I want you today, my friend, and to move into agreement today by saying, Prophet, yes, I am one of the 11. I am one of the last 11. I'm looking for 11 individuals that is saying, I want that. Joseph anointing him. I want God to send judgment. I want God to send this order into the camp of the enemy. And what the devil has meant for evil, like he did for Joseph, God says, I turned it for good. God. 
shall free you. As God freed Israel from under the hand of Egypt because they needed security. May you have security. Hear me. Judgment is coming to your enemies. The Spirit just says, I will take a soul. <coughs> he says, I will take I will take you to a new realm. You will hear of bad news concerning someone that has been fighting you. Spirit just says it takes a soul to open the door. It takes a soul to open the door, but a sacrifice to close it. Let me say that again. The Spirit just said to me, He said it takes a soul. To open the door, but a sacrifice to close it. I need your sacrifice. God needs your sacrifice today. In other words, to secure it. What's the sacrifice? I say to you, the sacrifice today of my 11 individuals, the select group, I want you to sow the greater 11th hour seed of the 11111. You will receive a prophetic word from the team of prophets. Plus 11 days. 11 days of intense, powerful 11th hour prayer points that I need you to say for the next 11 days. And I want you to be sure to write down 11 things that you're asking God to do for you. And as you say those prayers, your 11th hour prayer points for 11 days, you are to remind heaven of what you're believing Father God for. And it is done. And it shall be unto thee. And you're going to do this for your entire family so God can rescue them. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. A Judas is going to be removed. When the Bible talks about 11 disciples, it means that one had fallen away. And judgment was falling on the one. In other words, judgment fell upon Judas for betraying the Savior. Your Judas is going to be removed. Now, if you can't do the one 11, 11, then go ahead and do the 11, 11, 11 dollars and 11 cents. You could do it three times. However many people is in your household, you will also receive your 11 hour, 11 day, 11 hour prayer points that I need you to say as you're reading and going over the 11 things that you need God to do for you. But you will see promotion elevation and through every attack God will bless you I saw money increase I saw money blessings I saw safety I saw breakthroughs I saw miracles I saw surprises I saw wholeness I saw healing I saw restoration I saw persecution becoming a blessing God says I promise you the persecution shall be a blessing unto thee the lying on you shall end up being something that shall be a liability to your enemy, but it'll be favor for you. Go ahead, my friend. Move in faith now with your 11th hour seed. And I know that you're one of the 11 to do the 11111. God bless you. Remember, you will with that 11111, that greater 11th hour seed. You're going to get a prophetic word from the team of prophets. Two prophets will be prophesying directly over your life. And it is going to set you up. You're about to get the 11th hour turnaround. And you're going to be rewarded. <laughs> you're going to be rewarded, my friend. Just like they were rewarded in Matthew chapter 20 and verse 6. And when they came, they were hired about the 11th hour. They received every man substance. They received substance. They received substance. May you receive substance. God bless you. This is Bishop Berrien. Peace.